Hello Live Church, hello everybody. I just wanna take the time to greet all of you guys and say welcome. Um, yeah, this message is, is for everybody, but I, I hope that it's gonna be a blessing to all the kids and, and all the families that are listening and watching to this right now. And as I start, I just wanna get something out of the way. I wanna get this out of the way, okay? This mustache here is a, is a proof, if you're judging me and thinking where does this come from, it's a proof that I've been staying home during COVID-19 and saving lives, okay? So get used to it. Um, but all jokes aside, I want to talk to you guys about Peter. Okay, what comes to mind when you think about Peter prior to Jesus' um, death and resurrection? We all remember Peter as a super arrogant and proud and self confident and thinking that he was better than the others and he failed so many times. But I want to take the time to give you a bit of context about what made Peter so arrogant, right? So Jesus walks in town one day, and this is happening in Matthew uh, 16, verse 17. He walks in town and says, who do, pe who do people say I am? Then Peter says to him, um, out of all the answers, Peter is the one who ends up saying to him, you are, the, you are the son of the living God and you are the Messiah. And Jesus says, this revelation could not have come to you on your own. My father revealed this to you. Now, I don't know about you, but every single time that I've had the privilege of speaking to someone and they're like, oh, God just spoke to me through you. You know, there's always a bit of a boost of confidence and you're like, oh, I'm sort of special. God uses me. You know, I'm sure Peter felt like that. Wow, God spoke to me, to Jesus. Ooh, that's, that's, that, that makes me some kind of special. Number one. Number two, Jesus says to him, on this rock I build my church. And we understand that the rock isn't Peter. The rock is a reality that Peter had a revelation about who Jesus Christ was. And the rock itself is, um, the fact that Jesus is the son of God and is the Messiah is the rock on which um, Peter, um, Jesus is going to build his church. And that is another booster of confidence in Peter's heart goodness on the revelation that i had god is going to build his church i'm just not anybody right and then jesus goes on and he says to peter i will give you the keys of heaven i don't know about you but if you give me the keys of heaven me aaron i think not just anybody's going to mess around with me because if i have the keys of heaven or i know i will have the keys of heaven then you can't just mess around with me because i have the essential right to choose who goes to hell or heaven and then jesus says to him Everything that you bound on earth will be bound in heaven, and everything you loosen on earth will be loosened in heaven. Now, all of these things boost your confidence and make you feel some kind of special. These are promises, and not just small promises, they're big promises. And I think somewhere along the line, Peter built his identity in, in, in all of these promises and seeing them come to pass. And that's why when Jesus said to him, you'll deny me three times, he says, I will never deny you no matter what. I will never leave you no matter what. And I feel like some of us before COVID-19 said a lot of things to Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you so much. And we said a lot of I love you because of all the promises that Jesus maybe had put in our lives. And we say, Jesus, I will never, never stop pursuing you no matter what. And the no matter what has happened, COVID-19 has happened. And now the promises that is made to you, you're not sure about it. You're just not sure how are they going to come to pass. The kids are home. The parents are home. Some people are losing their jobs. What about the promises? Peter had the same encounter. Jesus was arrested and then he was killed. And then when they asked him, do you know Jesus? He said, what about the no, no matter what that Jesus, what, no matter what happened. So Peter denied Jesus because he couldn't see the promises anymore. He couldn't see it. He just couldn't see it. And I feel like in this season, a lot of us just can't see it anymore. And that is because a lot of us have put our identity in the promises that God has given us in our capacity to love Jesus no matter what. And no matter what has happened, when Jesus comes back and, uh, and he sees Peter, he doesn't ask Peter for any justification. He restores him and commissions him. And this is what I want to tell you. Peter's life changes when he realizes that his identity is not in the promises God has given him. His identity is not in the fact that he loves Jesus. His identity is the fact that God loves him no matter what, not the other way around. And I want to encourage you right now. With, I know the kids are home. You don't know. You're not sure what's happening. What's happening? People are losing jobs. Jesus loves you no matter what. Even when you don't feel like you do. Even when you don't feel like the promises are still there. He still loves you. And he's still doing something. And he's going to come and restore. So I want to encourage you with that. And in this season, do not hang on to the fact that you love Jesus no matter what. Hang on to the fact that he loves you no matter what. His love for us is what we hang on to. Not the other way around. All right, I think, I hope that this has been a blessing to you. And um, yeah, God bless all of you guys. Thank you.